subscribe to boost up station if you haven't and today we are going to install Arclone browser for any Mac OS a graphical interface application for Mac OS where you can play with all of the cloud drives that can be mounted using Arclone for other operating systems videos are given in the description so we are using this Arclone browser to download data from multiple cloud drives to our machine with resume support or you can upload also every operation uses your data bandwidth internet or plan whatever you call it now the first step is to create the arclone.com file which can be created in any operating system just watch the videos for that particular os from the description now open these two links in your favorite browser and on the top you will see the latest version scroll down and here we have the .dmz file so click on it and now it is getting downloaded go to the second link and now you have two options for Mac OS Intel or AMD if you are using that or the ARM processor so I am using Intel processor not using the M1 Mac for the M1 you have to use this ARM file others use this Intel AMD click on download button and let it get downloaded let me move this file here the Arclone DMZ file Arclone browser Arclone has also downloaded and here we have it so now extract this Arclone file by double clicking on it it will automatically expand and inside this folder we have this file without any extension so I am going to copy it and paste it inside this folder or wherever you want we just need the location of this particular file now double click to run this Arclone browser DMZ file and now it is asking us to drag it into applications so let us do it I think it is done double click on the applications folder here and if you scroll down here you see this Arclone browser double click on it to run and here we get a prompt which says cannot be opened because it is from an unidentified developer so click on ok from here go to your system preferences click on security and privacy and in the end you see this was blocked so click on open anyway now click on open and it is just going to open right it is here let me close my system preferences first it is asking our clone location is not available cannot check for our clone version just click on ok for now and it will open up the preferences for the Arclone browser and inside the first field you have to enter the Arclone location now to get the location of this file open finder or you can say spotlight search and type terminal and press enter now here we have the terminal don't worry about this base if it doesn't show in your case it doesn't matter now drag and drop this Arclone file into the terminal and it will give you the location of the Arclone file so select until this Arclone from here right click copy and paste the location here right click and paste so now here we have the location of the Arclone now delete this what remains is this second thing arclone.conf location again do the same thing drag and drop this arclone.conf file into the terminal and here we have the location select it right click copy and paste the location here fine now we have one more thing default download folder and let's say to show you very quickly I want to download inside this folder only if you want to download inside other folders you have to do the same thing open terminal 
drag and drop that particular folder copy the path from here that is it but i want to download inside this folder let's say so we'll be pasting the download path here because this was the file you can check other options if you want like default upload folder now go to the interface if you want to change anything from here proxies if you want to add any proxies now when you have done with the preferences click on ok and it will be listing the remotes to you just click on refresh it is not listing the remotes click on this arclon browser and go to the top left corner and click on preferences now what you have to do is you see these backslashes you have to remove these backslashes all right don't remove these forward ones remove those back ones one we have here one we have here here that is it and here also you need to remove them because these tells that there is a space between the folder name so we have to remove them now when you have this type of thing without any backslashes you can click on ok and let us refresh again you can see that the cloud drives are coming without any kind of problems here now to mount any cloud drive just double click on that and it is going to show you that particular cloud drive go to the remotes again if you want to mount others you can double click on that particular cloud drive and it is going to mount the cloud drive for you you have the option to cross it too like unmounting it i have mounted two cloud drives just to show you you can mount any number of them and now this time let's say you want to download a particular file or folder so just select that particular file or folder click on this arrow to show the files and folders inside that now select the folder and click on download if you want to download that particular folder or upload if you want to upload any files or folders inside the selected folder now you have two options or you can say three move copy or sync deleting the files after or before the transfer move the files and delete it from the source and copy the files just copy from the source to the destination so i want to download inside this folder only so i have already pasted that particular location two slashes are there the forward slashes remove one slash and you can compare with the size and more time this is the preferred option in the transfer you can increase the number of transfers that work simultaneously it means at the same time increase it to six or eight that is a little bit good checkers means they will be checking for the download completed or not exclude if you want to exclude anything from the destination and without running it straightforward let me create a task for it like first attempt you can name it anything and click on save task now the saved task will go into tasks folder here and you click on that particular task and click on run now in the jobs you see that it is running showing the output and the folder is also created and it has finished if you open the folder you can see the folders and files that have been downloaded let me quickly show you by uploading also so let's say i want to create a folder inside the root of my team drive so select it and click on new folder create a folder named as mac upload or whatever you want and click on ok creating mac upload folder loading and the folder has been 
create it now select the folder and i want to upload let's say this file so again open the terminal drag and drop this file inside it copy the location from here paste it inside the source and remove this backslashes all right whatever number of backslashes are there you just need to remove them now let me copy it and i want to only upload this file for now check out these options whichever you want and click on run now inside these jobs it is running and finished it is a very very small file click on this arrow to show that the file has been uploaded and here it is once more let me show you by uploading a particular folder so this time we are uploading this go index folder so drag and drop this folder inside the terminal copy the path right click copy select it and copy it and paste it inside the source remove these backslashes 1 2 3 this is a forward slash don't remove this now we have one more backslash make sure you don't remove any spaces from these now this time we are uploading the folder in the source copy same run go to jobs running show output and it is uploading the data and finished team drive click on refresh and here it is the folder that we have uploaded the files and folders inside this one folder four files so we have one folder and four files now rather than using the terminal for uploading or downloading you can click on choose folder from here right just click on choose folder and it will be showing you to select the folder which you want to upload you can select it and click on open and that folder will be uploaded and for the download thing that also you can do by clicking on this folder icon choose folder to download the files and folder just select whichever folder where you want to download it and click on open then click on run it will download to that particular folder which is an easy way just a direct way rather than clicking on these icons you do have an option of right click you can select from here also one more thing we can get the public link of any file or folder so just select the file or folder and click on public link from here and it will give you the public link for that particular file or folder from whatever drive it is like mega one drive google drive team drive from there it will be giving you the public link so that you can share it to anyone but it should have the access to view by others that you can change in your google drive or whatever drive you are using so i think we have almost finished explaining all the features of this arclone browser you do have some more videos like downloading unlimited from mega to any operating system or unlimited google drive one drive or dropbox watch these or more videos from the description or from the channel so please subscribe to boost up station and that's it for now thank you for watching now it's time to discover more simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more